Microsoft Designer Tutorial How to use Microsoft Designer for Beginners Hey guys, welcome back In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with Microsoft Designer So, let's get into it Now, for this, you do need to have a Microsoft account and that is all you need to have to get started and a lot of people don't even know that microsoft designer is such a utilitary tool it has a lot of different features available right now you have some amazing features like sticker creators brand creators album creators generative arrays as well as design creators image creators and more Plus, you can build your own images with your own prompts and bring it back to life. So we are going to get started. Now, I have logged into my account. This is just my Microsoft 365 account. And all I'm going to do is I can click on any of these items. So let's say I want to get started with a brand kit creator. So I'm just going to open this up over here and I can start generating my brand kit with AI. So as you guys can see over here, we have our brand name that we can enter and we have retail, rustic, vintage, browns, and green like this. And now I'm going to click on generate. Now taking this prompt in, it's going to generate a brand kit for us. Now, this is a very unique idea, which you're not going to find in a lot of other AI image generators. They're just usually focused on AI image generation instead of this amazing kind of tool where it's building something different. It's not just taking your word for word prompt and building art into it. It's providing you with helpful resources that can help you in expanding your data so now you guys can see we have this one we have this we have this i think i like this a lot but i'm going to change my prompt to include clothing retail like this and now we're going to regenerate this and we will see how different the results are for different types of prompts now not only can you do that you can do a lot more and you can even build your own images if you're not just looking for you know specific features you are looking for something different and unique you guys can see this is a example of a prompt so an ornate sitting room with floor wallpaper a single gold frame painting on the wall with the focus on a single green velvet armchair warm light shallow depth of field like that now this is our new brand kit that has been generated now i really like these as well and i think i really like the first one it has generated this one and i can click on that and i can upload my own logo instead so if you have your own logo in mind you can add that over here like this or you know whatever your logo might be let's say this is our logo or if you don't have one i can just remove it and you can upload a logo or just save your brand as it is over here and then later on alter it as you go so now you can use this brand in designer to start you know building upon it you can just go on ahead and use this brand kit to further customize the appearance you can further build more illustrations or ads related to that particular campaign now you guys can see this is just a prompt and i'm going to build my own prompt edit the entire prompt field and i'll build my own prompt so a dog running through a royal garden a white furry dog or a fluffy dog running through a royal garden yellow or warm tones colorful yeah so if i enter this prompt over here let's wait for the microsoft designer to create our image now keep in mind this is not even the full-fledged version of microsoft designer they are still building upon some of their tools so you can expect a lot of improvement in their designs and this is such a nice image so i can open this image up and the best part about using designer is that i can take this image i can download it as it is i can copy it i can create a design i can edit this image so i can go ahead and click on create design if i click on edit image it pretty much does almost the same thing so if I go ahead and go into create a design and you can choose what type of design you would like to create. So I want to maybe create a Instagram post about cute dogs 
and how to take care of a dog like this of a dog like this and then i'm gonna ask it to generate and now it's going to generate a design that is going to be for a instagram so now it has even given me a suggestion create an instagram post with cute dogs and how to take care of them use playful colors like this 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 and cute and friendly tone of the post so caring for cute dogs like this i can use this and i can click on customize this design now i can ask it to build a uh, further uh, pages within this instagram post and i can just take this template and then instead of the image and the next ones i can insert the advice now with this you have templates available on microsoft designer as well you guys can see they have a bunch of different templates but before i get into those i'll show you guys some of the other more cooler features which a lot of people don't know which is the generative erase which can be something that is going to take hours to do so wedding photos if i go into wedding photos over here to show you guys an example like this i will go into the images section family wedding photos like so and let's just say we have this image over here and i will just save this image and i'll show you guys how we can alter it so if i go back into microsoft designer and go into the generative erase we're going to upload this image and i'm going to click on upload over here now once we have completed our upload you guys will see you have a bunch of different ai based tools it has filters it has just basic image adjustments as well such as your brightness contrast saturation temperature sharpness and more but if i go into generative erase so i am going to go into save over here let's say i don't need you know a certain person in the image so let's say i don't require this person and i'm just going to select like so like this and i can click on erase object and what this will do is that it will erase this person out of the image and it will, you know, blur it out. Obviously, this is a very low resolution image, but for the better images, for a better image quality, you will be able to get a better result with this generative tool. And if I was to go ahead into the design creator and you can describe a design and it will create the design for you. You have album creators as well. Plus, you also have an upcoming feature that might launch anytime soon with expansion of your image where it will take your backgrounds and expand them based on the context available to the AI. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.